Hey guys, you're watching Chaotic TV. We're bringing you game three of this CVP from IEM Katowice. And in the bottom left on Cloud Kingdom, we have the Red Zerg playing for Team Acer. He is Nurcio. And his opponent on this series uh, currently up two games to zero. Uh, in the blue Protoss pieces, this game, this is ESC Daisy. Alrighty. He did take quite the uh, quick supply lead in that last game, coming in with just a punishing force of gateway units, mostly, with a couple of Archons backing it up. Yeah. Uh, Nurcio really did a good job delaying his uh, second Nexus, but from there he just proceeded to straight up lose the game to this terrifying mid-game army of the Protoss player uh, with superb upgrades. I think it was at 3-3-2 with two uh, shield upgrades, even for the Archons that he had splashed into his army. So just this terrifying, strong army from the Protoss players pushing across the map, and even with some Prude Lords out, he was just no match for it. If you can call something a trend after having only seen it twice, we can call Daisy the kind of guy who softens up his opponent before coming in with the, the big hit. So uh, in the first game, we saw him do a devastating Warp Prism attack, and in the second game, we saw him take out the third hatchery of Nurcio before... Nurcio was able to respond, and just coming in with a much larger force, much more powerful force at the end of the game to yeah, deliver he that just final got crushing a blow. Got a completely unsolicited forward pylon right next to the third base, so that made it relatively easy for him to take it out. Uh, Nurcio did end up rallying enough units in to end up cleaning all of it up, and as well as the forward pylons, but Ooh. not before having to re remake his uh, third base afterwards. No exciting um, Nexus block from Nurcio this time, and Daisy was able to get his probe down there to block Nurcio right as his um, See if the drone goes did that little here. burrow. I don't think it will, but it could. There's the hatchery. Yep. Again, much later than the Nexus, but I mean, what can you expect? We've seen it in two games. Daisy is really good at, at blocking stuff from happening. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see a, a third hatchery come up again for an chill. It's just, you need that three base economy to do with the two base Protoss player. And even then, it's really difficult to stop the two base timing punches. It's, uh, I, you know, I've not really heard of Daisy before, but I'm actually really enjoying watching him play in this series. Yeah, he's doing really good things. He's staying on top of his upgrades for his units, and that just makes his army that much stronger. Uh, he's he's not making a lot of huge micro errors even in the battles that we do see him fighting. He's he's just doing extremely well. Like we saw his warp prism harass was incredibly well microed. Uh, you don't see that from almost anybody anywhere. Uh, even the Korean players who live and train in Korea, you don't see that as much. Uh, being said, Daisy is a Korean player just living and training in Germany at the moment. Yep, it seems he might have a one year contract with ESC Icy Box. Uh, which is Goody's team. And the only thing I can say that I haven't liked about Daisy's play so far was in that first game when we saw him use some very unorthodox force field placement uh, during the battles. I mean, his micro is superb, but his force field judgment was the only thing I can criticize, and it's really a very minor thing when you consider how well he's done in this series. Yeah, here we go. He's got plus one started before the cybernetic screen finished, so I'll we're gonna see him get his upgrades going. Uh, like I said, possibly a two base plus two attack. Uh, it's worked well for him in the past. We'll have to see what really happens again. Nurcio going for his standard three base play, so we're just gonna have to wait a little longer for uh, anything different arises. Yeah, there there are a few variations of the two base uh, plus two attack timing for the protest player. Uh, one of them with Blink Stalkers, and the other one with Warp Prism, and Immortals. Or no, sorry. I guess that would be three variations. One is Warp Prism, one is Blink Stalker, uh, one is Immortal Sentry. So. And the two base uh, plus two attack we saw Daisy do in the first game was a little bit different because with that Warp Prism, uh, he actually he had got time enough to get that armor plus one too, armor. So. Yeah. Yeah, it ended up being just a little bit delayed type timing. But he did enough damage with the board prism to the point where uh, he put Zerg on the back foot and just let him load up his army to just do that killing blow there. 
Yep, this third base is going to be spotted by uh, Daisy if it hasn't already. It already has, but these slowlings are not going to be able nope. to catch this stalker once again. Trying to boost out a warp prison. He's going to do some more warp prison harass. It's worked well for him, and uh, he's got three more gates to be able to chunk out more units behind this. He's actually got to build a couple more supply depots, otherwise he won't be able to warp in anything right now. Yeah, those are pylons, actually, but thank you. Good idea. Pylons, yes, supply lines. There we go. Supply lines. Yes. Also useful for providing energy for buildings to warp in. <laughs> uh, Nurcio is actually going heavy on the gas right now. He went from zero to six in less than a minute, I think. Zero to six in less than a minute. Extremely slow acceleration. <laughs> for uh, extractors, it's not not so slow. <laughs> no, no. But he is dropping aspires. Something we haven't seen him do yep. yet. Um, yeah, you need that gas to get uh, Mulus out, and that is going to be really good, actually, against a warp prism, because Mulus kill warp prisms. Yep, and if he can get killed before any of the warp ins actually get in, then the Zealots will be a little less than effective when they're not the Zerglings, there. Zerglings spot the, the Zealots and warp prism coming in. Uh, doesn't know that there's sentries in there, but he can probably venture you'd guess that there are. He's trying to delay this Zelda push long enough for those spine crawlers to get up. But very, again, with the, the strange force fields. But that more was just to stop the Queen from attacking the oh, okay. prism mode. Gotcha. And, the mode. Okay. and here the, sp the spine crawlers finished, so that's going to help nerd you out here quite a bit. That being said, the uh, Zelda run Zelda's right into the main. Well past them. Yep. And they're going to be able to kill a bunch of Zerglings. And wow. Another big warp in here. That's one way to get around spine crawlers is just completely walk past them, and now they have to run up the ramp off creep and Good try to land use, again. But there's just too many gateway units here for these to deal with. Yep. Uh, he's waiting for more units to hatch, but he only has a few zerglings. This might be the end here already for him. Huge drone pull by Nurcio to try to save all of his stuff, but there's really nothing that he can do to hold yep. off this attack. Some more. More really good micro here, picking the sentries up into the war prism. Well, there he lost it, but he picked the other one up and drops it again. Just letting the AI untarget it while it's picked up and just dropping it quickly again to let it get back to the damage. It's just really strong mechanics from Daisy here. nurcio has got eight mutalisks about to pop out, and they kind of Hail Mary mutalisks, but Daisy has plenty of money to warp in uh, stalkers to just continue fighting these. No, well, he needs to focus the war prism, and he's gonna. Uh, take it out of pylon mode and fly it away, so... His okay. four stalkers here are no knocking out all of the mutalisks, and I think Nurcio is in his death knell right now. He's not going to be able to pull hold off this push, being down 25 supply right now. And yeah, this is enough stalkers, along with the sentry, to be able to take care of these mutalisks that are coming out. Uh, especially with only a couple at a time fighting, and oh, something in some language I don't understand. But good game well played from Nurcio. Yes, indeed. Good game. Well played. Daisy takes the series 3-0 in this best of five. Very interesting and exciting games. I've not seen Warp Prism play like that since NASL 4, where Hero just stomped all of his opponents. Well, I had a lot of fun casting. We are going to bring you another best of five pretty soon from Cato TV. I am Kale. And this is Eclipse. And we'll see you very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.